is January 2024. Imagine that. I don't know about you, we worked right through December. We didn't stop, we didn't have leave. Um, and on the public holidays and the special days, we were on standby anyway. So, yeah, I feel a bit... Um, yeah, I need a break. <laughs> it was very rough to work with, while everybody else was on holiday. Uh, yeah, so I'm, at least I've got something coming. We are going camping for a week in February for my birthday. So when the cull starts, cull's start. Yeah, they are too. I will be sitting next to the Vol River and I can't wait. So we're going camping for a week now in Feb and then we're going for three weeks in March, April. We're going down to the Western Cape. So yeah, the holiday is coming. I can see it on the horizon and I can't wait. Okay, so I've got some nice interesting yarn. I showed it to you when I got it a couple of months back. Merino from uh, Ashford, Ashford in New Zealand. They are the ones that make all the lovely um, spinning wheels and weaving looms and they have quite nice yarns as well. They've got very nice cottons. I didn't like the double knit. Um, I saw some of it in weaving workshops and it was a bit hard. I didn't like it that much. But this is seriously soft. Um, the softness comes at a price because the lower the twist, the softer the yarn. The higher the twist, the harder the yarn. So this soft twist, uh, a soft yarn doesn't have that much of a twist. Well, it's nicely twisted, but it, it could have been more. Um, if you knit with it, no problem. Why? Because this is an S-twist yarn. And knitting increases the twist on an S-twist yarn, so it's very nice to knit with. But crochet decreases the twist on an S-twist yarn, so it makes it a little bit splitty. But nevertheless, um, I am still enjoying it. Now, I'm not really a blue person. I don't know what possessed me to order this, because I don't like blue. But yeah, this is, at least it's not cobalt blue, it's, it's still blue. But I'm making myself a summer tea with this. And I think it's going to look nice. So we've got a little bit of a round yolk tea in the going here that's starting. So yeah. It is slow Saturday and there is rugby on the TV and we are going to have a nice braai in the braai room today. So I'm going to sit on my chair and crochet away for the rest of the day. Okay, let's talk about the girls. I don't think any designer in the history of craft has been so cuckoo like me to do two curls at the same time. Okay, so on the 7th of February, we are starting the Cable Me Cozy Cull with a K, knit along. We're also starting the Wacky Weave and the Belly Crochet along. Two. Both of them are available on Ravelry already, but you will only get the information sheet as the pattern will be released on a weekly basis starting from the 7th of February. And there are kits available for both already. The um, Cable Me Cozy, <clears throat> because of the design being so intricate with all the different cables, we keep it to one color. Oh, sorry. <coughs> but Wacky Weave and the Belly has got very nice colorful kits. Um, there are two that have got only three contrast colors and then the rest of them have got six contrast colors. I'm very excited about that. I made that blanket in faith for a caravan one day. <laughs> so at the moment, I'm not going to use it. Well, I might use it in my camping trailer now. Not might, will. 
it will go with us in our camping trailer now we have an off-road camping trailer and um, yeah that will go with us and then it will be used only in the trailer until we get a caravan but that's a little bit off in the distance still yeah all right so i don't have much news oh I spoke to you, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it in the videos or what it was only on the blog or whatever, but one a friend of mine is going to watch the Northern Lights in February. She's actually leaving on Valentine's Day. From her to her for Valentine's. How good is that? We need to do more of that. Anyway, she doesn't like beanies. Uh, many people don't like hats. I'm one of those that do. I love a hat. So I said to her, okay, I'll make a couple of beanies and then I'll lend them to you. You can take them on your trip and when they, when you come back, you give them back to me. Because I like a beanie and especially when we're camping, I mean a beanie is, is a very um, necessary piece of clothing. So me with the beanies, I just played so much with the beanies that I actually came up with two new designs. One is being tested. Um, yeah, and that got me going. You know what? A beanie is so easy to customize. And I thought I must, I must compile a thing and I think I'll just call it the beanie book. <laughs> a PDF with, with, um, Morally, so many stitches if you use this yarn, so many stitches if you use that yarn. Do you want to make this crown? Your stitches need to be multiples of this. Make a crown like this. This is knitting now. Um, so oh, that's what I've got in my head. Um, nice collection of beanie patterns in one book. That's what I'm working on. I don't know when I'm going to finish it. I'm being very optimistic here because I still work full time you know these ideas that come into my head yeah anyway so the beanies beanies are coming and uh, I love a beanie what did I do with the one that I, there's still one somewhere that needs a pom-pom I, I haven't put the pom-pom on yet I said to my husband yesterday I seriously need to clean up my craft stuff there's yarn all over there's yarn there on top of my um, sewing cabinet there's yarn here behind me in a plastic container there's yarn in a basket there's yarn in a bag there's yarn in another bag there's yarn on the table my word I really need to sort out my yarn and my projects and what have you okay I don't have much news I am so sorry but I hope you're going to participate in the culls, either one of the two or both. And remember that if you buy a kit, you can get the pattern for free. So don't buy the pattern. Both kits are in South Africa. The yarn houses are in South Africa. So um, if you are in South Africa, the shipping for you is nothing. If you are overseas, obviously that gets a little bit more complicated. So you can participate in the cull with your own yarn. I don't mind at all. Then you just have to purchase the pattern. And the pattern is currently $5. It will go up to the normal price, which is $10 on the 1st of February. And I think that's all. What a boring podcast. Not much to show because I did I already delivered all the beanies to Sophia so I can't even show you the beanies I didn't think very nicely about that one never mind we'll we'll get the beanies back and then we'll take photos and do the book and whatever have you okay so that's all I've got uh, for those that come to my slow Saturday socials on the second Saturday of every month um, I'm missing the one for February as we will be camping and I'm also missing the one for March because we have a baby christening in Barberton that weekend so I will only have a slow Saturday social again in April imagine that 
luckily we can still have slow Saturdays at home like today so I'm now gonna sit and crochet and I hope you have a fabulous month and I hope you're gonna do the curls with me great I'll see you next month